mostly sunny week ahead of us in Southern California. Highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s. Thursday could bring us some light rains and scattered clouds, but we should be seeing most of the same. Back to you, Casey and Molly. Once the scattered thunderstorms move further west, we'll see sun, sun, and more sun as we head into our brightest week of the summer. Get those beach towels ready, folks, because we're looking at an absolutely perfect week. Let's check out the daily highs and lows. Monday will be our coolest day of the week with a high of 75 and a low of 59. Tuesday will be warming us up for the rest of the week with a high of 79 and a low of 71. So many odd numbers today. Okay, so Wednesday is where the fun begins with a high of 91 and a low of 75. Like I said, folks, get that sunscreen lotion spray ready. You don't wanna let these temperatures get the best of you. Whew. Wow, look at Thursday. Thursday, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. That high is a beautiful 93 and a low of only 77. Whew. I'm al already starting to feel some of that weather. Ninety-nine. Yeah. I, I see it. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Claire, sorry. to feel some of that weather. Sorry, folks. Welcome back to the Gale Time Show. I'm your host, Gail Williams. Our next guest is an ex-weather reporter made famous for her on-air panic attacks. 
Her number one Times best-selling book, All For A Reason, details the experience and her journey with overcoming her anxiety. Please welcome Claire Dawson. <laughs> Claire, nice to see you. Thank you for doing our show. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, what a difference a year makes. You certainly don't look like you're about to pass out now, that's for sure. <laughs> well, maybe after the commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that you can laugh about it. But that's what it's all about, you know? <laughs> Being able to take something like that and um, truly knowing you're so over it, so past it, that you can't help but just joke about it. <laughs> wow, that's incredible, is it not? <laughs> well, Claire, you talk in your book about having certain triggers that would provoke your anxiety. Talk about what that was like. Yes, of course. I mean, everyone has their things. For me, it was odd numbers. I couldn't hold an odd number of change in my wallet. I used to purposefully drop pennies until I hit an even number. <laughs> There's probably <laughs> abandoned odd Claire pennies scattered all around California. <laughs> wow, is there uh, any particular reason why odd numbers were such a trigger for you? No reason at all. I just didn't like them. Hmm. That's how it is with your brain on anxiety, Dale. There's no real rhyme or reason for believing what you believe, but you believe it so much that it becomes your reality. Wow, that must have been quite a reality to live in. But as your book shows, you are living proof that anyone truly can overcome and turn it into something positive. Yes, I really do believe that, Gail. And I really hope young people out there see what happened to me and feel inspired to beat their anxiety and any mental illness. So what is it? What's your secret? What's your trick? What advice would you give to those young people that are suffering from anxiety? I know this sounds silly, and it's in my book. But something that really helps me is I close my eyes and I count to three. Just like that. And it's gone. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's all it takes for you? Yeah. Just having a positive mindset and not being too hard on yourself. I mean, you have to remember that when you're giving a presentation and speaking to a lot of people, <laughs> there's probably someone out there that's listening to you that has anxiety too. So really just knowing you're not alone helps. Wow, that is awesome. I mean, come on, come on, that's amazing. It really is amazing, Gail. I truly feel like I had to have that panic attack to get me where I am today. And where are you today? I just feel like a black cloud has been lifted. Every day is clear skies and so bright. I just want everyone to know that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know today I feel great. And I know I conquered my mental illness and didn't let it conquer me.